it's that nobody gamer back with smile for me or technically smile for today this is the epilogue for smile for me that came out a couple days ago and i was very very sad when it was over it was became one of my favorite games i've ever played because i just like the story in general so i'm just gonna continue i have no idea what this is about i don't know if there's gonna be any sound to it there is there is if there's not i'm just gonna be 114 free pedal messages remaining oh hey gang it's been a minute huh what about a year since what about a year since yeah yeah something like that nuts stuff anyway uh i just thought i'd check in with everyone me i've been pretty good i've been taking a break to do some hobbies bike riding painting those little cool robot sets before i get back into the dental stuff smiley face winky maybe we all need a break from dental stuff am i right <laughs> uh just kidding please don't neglect those pearly whites Shoot, I'm rambling. Oh, lol. Uh, if you guys don't remember Kamal, he was the last character who helped us get into the... Just... Just get us into meeting Dr. Habit. Oh, Marv! He... <laughs> he caught a fish. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Marv, for that. Very classic. Well, since I've gathered everyone's emails, how are all of you doing? I've been er, thinking about you all. Oh, Randy! Greetings and salutations, Kamal, and fellow friends. Ho ho! Ho ho! What a lovely day to reminisce upon pa times past. Marvin, I must thank you for bequeathing the wonderful fish photograph. I can practically smell her through the monitor. Simply glorious, yes indeed. Randy, long time no smell? Smell. Who else is online? Hello? Randio, Etsy, Walsh at Frankpool? What has Randy been up to? You ponder. I have been workshopping my poetry and in... Day in and day out, perfecting my odes to smells, life, and love. Believe it or not, I have a small book for my works, published Dash Randy in the real. I'm sure you you all received my various promotional emails. Yes, yes. I have attached some exclusive poetry here for you to, all to witness. I hope you all enjoy. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Oh, glorious green, you glow with a, such a beautiful sheen. Always sweaty without a reason. Most pungent in the summer season surrounded by soft little creatures i am entranced by all your features murphy ahoy manoy hey gang it's been too long happy to hear all from all of you randy i actually got to get those promo emails i'm glad you're chasing a dream sign me up for a copy i have copy cut free okay thief uh but tim tim my books are unfortunately not free as much as i would love to bequeath the world the volumes for free art book art, bookstores are carrying my work for the reasonable reasonable price of wait i get it now <laughs> tim tam ah uh, yes hello tim tam mahoy manoy tim tam what did i tell you you need to be nice i want to steal sometimes but at least i keep it to myself dear randy oh gilius oh i'm so happy and i love how all they have the little uh Pictures. Oh, whoops. We're going to put it like that. There we go. I think this is all it's going to be, so. Yo, Gilius, we can read this. Oh, with the poem. Oh, sorry, I didn't read Gilius. Says, Dear Randy, um, hey, Randy with W. What happened to the poem with W where I'm totally beating up giant dinosaurs in the present? Something totally cool, and you wrote my muscles all huge. Can you read it to me again, please? Okay. Oh no, now everyone knows. Randy, Randy, ah, I can never talk to anyone again. I'm going to hide under my bed. Randy, text me. Aw, adults are gross. Oh, Millie. <laughs> I'm getting me mallet. Triple up. <laughs> oh, Gillis, don't worry. We all knew already. Everyone I knows... Mr. Sucko, you're so gilly, lol, 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 lol. Take a chill pill, you cutie pants. Relax and behave, children. I'll see you in class on Monday. Tim Tam, please stop bringing sewer rats to show and tell. <laughs> oh, my God. Why this is the reason I say kids should stay off the, the net till they're older. These uns are so misbehaved. What is Millie, seven, eight years old? It's no good, I tell you what. Buzz off, twerp. I'm like ten. My apologies, 10 years old. Buzz off, twerp. I'm like 12. 
Hey, you all, not to change the topic, but all that pretty little painting of me. Any idea who made it? I'm totally got this little doodad in the mail yesterday. It's shockingly, stunningly accurate to my groovy vis visage, if I do say so myself. Whoa! That's awesome. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just super happy. I'm just super. <laughs> Are these all the fan mail? The fan art? That's awesome. Hey, Dallas. I had some the same question. I've been getting letters too. With drawings of me. Who did this? Should we sue for using our likeness and exposing our secrets? Our lives? How do they all know these things? A literal bolts paper block of wood sandwich. 25 miles a minute. Randy's pickle chart a quarter of a mile. <laughs> <laughs> hungry, hungry one corn chip. <laughs> That's me in the pool. Oh, no. Well, first of all, calm down. Okay, I'm calm. I love his face. Second of all, I think I know. It all comes back to our friend, the flower kid. Apparently, since they left the habitat, they've been spreading the story all around. They told the world about what went on at ha the habitat and all the people they met. Us! <gasps> Lulia! Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can click on the photos. Oh, Lulia and Tiff. Murph. Come on. Holy fuck. Oh, look at all the credits. Look at the credits to all the people who did the artwork. We're going to scroll up a bit so we can look at all the pictures. Oh. Not paint water. <laughs> so we're just going to scroll through these really quick. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I was so sad when this game ended. The rubber ducky. It just... I couldn't understand. Well, I understood every game has to come to an end. <gasps> Randy's got the pickle jar. And we gotta do two more. Questionette. Oh, with Randy. Come all. And we're missing one. <laughs> oh, Marv. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool that everyone's just here. Yes, believe it or not, the flower child has been spreading the tale of the habitat in my star-strutted travels. Oh, look. It has everyone's email. Who they are. In my star-studded travels across boulevards and red carpets, I've, been, I've heard bountiful gossip. The tale has spread from person to person to celebrity to person. The kid did what now? That little scamp wasn't much of a gabber. They wrote a memoir, actually, and it shared all around. Look at this. It's about us. All of us. Oh, I guess we're going to Twitter now. Oh, wow. I guess I'll read it. It's time for the big event. Enjoy the works of 40-plus artists dedicated in the indie game Smile For Me created by the, at Game of Lane and Yugsley. Download Zion. Okay, we're going to download this really quick, actually. So, yep, that's downloading. So we're going to continue this, and then we'll enter this when we're done downloading. They even remembered me. Oh, <gasps> Wallace! Who are you? Nat Vancy. Oh, you're a vampire. What the hell is Wallace? Oh, he has no profile picture. <laughs> Who are you? I looked through it all, and I mean, it's kind of beautiful, and uh, I might be crying, actually. Oh, my God. Okay, no suing. If anyone sued anything, it's my heart. Ugh. Oh, wow. Let it out, Parsley. Oh, I heard rumors about that. Let me take a quick look. Oh. Aw. Dr. Habit and Flower Kid. Let it out, Kamal. Mahoy, Manoy. Oh, no, I dropped something. Fine. There's even forums on places like Neo Cities. I'm not much of an internet person. Maybe one of you could take a look at all these things. You didn't know I'm only seven and an internet master. We are the talk of the town, baby. And check this out. A dramatic retelling of our story by someone named Penny. Penny. Look at it. Shockingly accurate. Okay. The internet. So we're just going to leave this here. We're not going to watch this. Oh, someone's actual YouTube. Hi, Snapcube. You did a great job doing it then. OMG. She called me pretty. If you want to watch that playthrough, go look, watch that playthrough as well.
because everyone does their own thing and all everyone has a different variation of the game. So I highly recommend you watch many people play this game because I just have an undying love for this game. It's just so good. I just could never get the chance to enjoy it. I did get the chance to enjoy it. I don't know what I'm talking about. But after we're done with all these messages, there's 66 messages, I wanted to say something about just the whole game in general. Because it kind of shows something that could be applied to life right now. Oh, you could, I'll, I'll call you pretty. Just say the word, please. It's mallet time. Oh, no, is my business endeavors retold across the country. I'm going to have to go into hiding. <laughs> Kingpin Gary, Jerry, I'm going to embezzle your funds. <laughs> oh, wow. He, you'll uh, be okay, Jerry. Yeah? Anywho, Murphy, I've been browsing the sites. It looks like there are even, it looks like a big old group of people were even thrown events. Week long sorts of things, making tons of art of all of us. That's nuts. That dedication. Whoa. <gasps> my favorite, Dr. Habit has become my favorite character. Keep up, Kamal. Aw. Aw, Kamal. Dallas, whoa, no kidding, this art's so chill. And there's so much. <laughs> I bet I could totally participate in these. All I gotta do is paint a picture of myself. Dallas, do you know how to use a scanner? <laughs> a what? Ha. <laughs> hey, you all. I uh, also have something to share. Since I came out of hiding, I discovered that there is new music, in fact. There's a bunch of it. I didn't get to listen to the, any new albums when I was well living in a wall. But look, these people have put together mixtapes mix suiting our story. They're so wonderful. Is, open, is this going to open up Spotify? Yeah, it did. Here, go to this as well. There's so much about this game. I'm going to fawn over this game. Oh, Trencil. My word. I feel so incredibly, how shall I say it, honored and humbled by all of this. These past months are surely some of the most memorable in the mountain my countless centuries of living you're hunking what ronbo oh wait we gotta click on these go away <laughs> <laughs> oh it was not it was mere slip of the tongue nothing more oh how dreadful i may have exposed myself well i suppose this is as good a time as moment in any hello everyone i gathered you all here to make a confession. I, Transylvania, am a vampire. I have attached evidence to demonstrate. Aww. We know, son. Yeah, yeah we know, Trensel. It's so obvious. Aww. Also, you didn't gather us here. I did. Trevor! What have I been telling you guys? Vampire, see ya! Yeah! Face me. Hmm. Oh, I love these pictures. Yes, yes, you have been saying that. You never shut up. You're, 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 shut your yap in the boilers. I was held prisoner by myself. I spent all day watching you and your ramblings. Your every thought, Sob. Oh. You're a psychic! No, he's just in a wall. Ahem. Another thing, the Flower Kids' journeys have continued since they left the habitat. They've gone to meet a whole variety of new people. They've kept my old camera, and they, t they take photos of each new person they meet. They've been sending me big letters full of photos. Whoa. <gasps> Zip Tramplin. Shayla Burke. Oh, are these people? Mara Scavenge. Luna Eclipse. Gordo Pulaski. Rope Bardo. What? My eyes are making that liquid again. Parsley. That's right, son. Be open with your emotions. The flower kid has grown a lot in their letters to me. They tell me about their life and the new people they're meeting. All about how they've been using the lessons they learned at the habitat to help themselves and others. They've really found their place. They aren't just the same silent benefactor we once knew. I mean, look at how they've told our story. The flower kid has grown into their voice. Really? Hello, everyone? <gasps> Dr. Habit! 
Wait, oh, no way, the Green Menace is here? Knock? Habit, you're in this thread? No, no one's been in touch with you since, well, since we left the habitat. We didn't know what you were doing or well to find you. Are you okay? Aw. Well, I've, I've been doing some thinking. I've wanted to speak to you, you all, because I would like to apologize for what I did. And I got so obsessed with the big picture that I didn't mind hurting all of you. You don't need to forgive me, but I hope we can be friends when each of you are comfortable. And if it isn't, it isn't true that no one has been in touch. One special person has been here there to help me do all the grow, grow, growing this past year. <laughs> Guilty. <gasps> Kamal's been helping Dr. Habit. Oh no, this is great. Wait, Doc. That's all well and good, but it's a little hard to like understand you. What with how you type, it's bad. I don't even know how you do that. Sent with spell check. Ah, uh, you must accept my humblest apologies for my dreadful, dreadful misspellings. My fingers are so large, an accident is bound to happen by and by. But don't worry, not. I just have. I was just. I've just noticed, and subsequently enabled, an innovative feature on this online email service entitled spell check. Does this make it somewhat easier to decipher my typings? Never mind. You sound like my dad. Turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Bokeh. Okay. A stunning blow from my daughter. I am wounded and yet deeply impressed with her wit. Anyway, I'm feeling good next month. I'm going to finally be able to do what I've always wanted. I'm going to take care of plants and sprouts and flowers. Starting at the Flower Kids family store. Downtown, I'm practically exploding with excitement. Plants are al always kind and I want to be too. Wow, that's really great. I don't know what to say. Being kind has made all the difference. People can care about me without fear, especially Kamal. Boris has made a bunch of friends. He's been getting gifts in the mail from his fans. Look at these. <gasps> I want that. Oh my lord. Holy cow, the plushie, the figurine, my collect my collectible radar is off the charts. The boundaries of the charts have never been so crossed. Yes, with each effigy, my power grows higher. <laughs> oh. So I feel like I haven't been talking much. This is just so amazing how the... This is a good tale of just people doing great game design and listening to their fans. I feel like the designers never knew that this game was going to go this far. But it did. It touched a lot of hearts. I think we've heard from almost everyone in the emails, but there's an address here I don't recognize. Bloomed at pedalmail.com. Who is that? Wait, is that the flower kid? Oh my god! I just added a stack of emails from Boris's filing cabinet. I didn't realize the flower kid was one of them. Oh my god, flower kid! Hey, florist kid! It's, is it you? You're reading this? There's so much to share. You, didn't, you did me a really good kid. World a good kid, my life. Has been looking up, up, up. I'm on the road again, touring with Tiff. Now that you helped me, me through my breakup blues, we've gotten to appreciate our friendship. We've been entertaining folks together. The show must go on, and it's all thanks to you, you kid. Oh, we're missing Tiff and the owl lady so far. Hey, champ. Thank you. Thanks to your foreignness and gall, my son and I have been closer than ever. I learn new things every day. It's darn beautiful. Hey, flower kid, if you're there, we miss you. Me and my new yowl, Rice Pilaf. Rice Pilaf! <laughs> He's doing dandy, by the way. He has grown 10 feet tall. XOXOXO. Hey, Tiff. If the flower kid is here, that might be the perfect time. I'm right there with you. Flower kid, we made you a little something. It's nothing much, but we wanted you to have it. You've helped us so much, eh? Latitude's final, final two. We wrote you a song. Sure, that's cheesy, but sometimes you need to be very cheesy by sincere. Give it a listen, would you? Oh, well, can I? Whoa. I don't know if this is going to get copyrighted. But it's them. Um, this is... I guess it's going to be a perfect time to actually talk. So, for this game... There has been one person helping everyone. But in this world, there's been a lot of 
torment and destruction and just everything not going anyone's way really good music to talk about this with but i feel like if you ever has anyone seen the movie pay it forward this is essentially what the flower kid did he was started to pay it forward even though he was the only one helping he pushed them all to help and with them helping they got better and they felt better about their lives so i really hope they make a second game that actually make my heart sore. Oh, the cello. We're going to leave that here. But just remember to always just help people. I wrote and orchestrated it. My tour has kept me way busy, but I made the time. It's a little abstract, but it's, it's about what you mean to us. Also, the impact you've had on our lives. A bunch of us pitched in. Swen wao sans nor biar furo twinsie. Yes, question at saying. She wanted you to know what you meant to her. Oh. I played the cello. Come on, play cello. Oh, and Rombo plays guitar. Hell yeah. I pulled out my old guitar for that first time in years. I play mandolin. Wallace plays mandolin. I once stole a horse. God damn it, Tim Tam. I hope you like it, Flowerkin. It's just a demo, but everything starts the way that way, doesn't it? Maybe someday it's... It'll be full-fledged production within a ten-part band and a trio of vocalists. A fancy illustration and a dozen remixes. We could perform it to the world and nearly everyone would hear it. Would give us a label, a record deal, a primetime spot on every station. It doesn't matter so much. This demo is plenty to let you know what you mean to us, Flower Kid. P.S. What does it mean at the bottom of the window that says there are five free messages remaining? Oh. Uh-oh. It's a four... It's at four messages remaining now, Kamal. Does this service limit the emails we can send? Wait, wait, wait. No one type. Not one single email. Okay, okay. Okay, listen. We have one free email left, and I know exactly who it's for. Flower Kid, little buddy, you've changed our lives, all of our lives. You've listened to our woes, become our friend, and shared our stories with the world. And yet, I, can, I can't thank you enough for what I know. It's the same for everyone. When you met us in the habitat, you were silent. Now Murphy says you're, you found a voice. You've spent ages listening to our woes, and now it's time for us to listen to you. What have you been doing since leaving the habitat? What's been keeping you afloat? What's troubling you, and what's bringing you happiness? What would you like to say to us, ple to me, to have it? If you aren't ready, there's no need to rush. Copy this URL and come back anytime. We'll, we'll wait patiently. <gasps> I can write, and we'll leave this email for you. I'm going to actually write this. And then I'll read it to you guys when I'm done. Because I don't want to waste everyone's time. I'm back. I just wanted to... I wrote something. I don't know if you can read it on the screen, so I'll read it to you. To all my friends from the Habitat, things have changed so much for the time I've, from the time I left the Habitat. I made new friends and continue to do what I do. I started to work at a camp devoted to helping people with disabilities. Over the past couple days of leaving, I took some time to think. I thought about all the issues of the world, and I realized that we can all change them together. We have to treat life like flowers, to continue to grow and bloom, to give people somewhere they can smile and be happy. Even when people make you mad, sad, or they hurt you, no grudge is large enough to dismiss someone so much that they will never stop talking to you. There are always second chances as the one we gave you, Dr. Habit. Through this, I felt I related to you the most out of everyone. You, you were afraid that people will never be happy. And that no one will give you a second chance. To you all, I want to say I love you. Please keep going, and you made a change to the life of many, and still growing to work. You made me confident, and also, and also starting a YouTube channel. It's very small, but it means the world that you have become the best thing about it, and led to me to all of you. Everyone, be safe and remain happy, Flower Kid. That's how I really feel about this whole situation. So I'm just gonna send it. Confirm. And that's it. And that's the end for Smile for me. Hey you, it's Limbo Lane speaking. Thank you. Thank you for taking this journey with us.
When we released Smile for Me, we never could have predicted the community that would form to support us. You wrote, played, sang, sewed, memed, cosplayed, drew, or otherwise expressed your love for the habitat and its denizens. One year later, it's still hard to believe. This past year, you've shown us that when art is made with sincerity, people will recognize that. Just as you all recognize and appreciate our sincerity, people, oh geez, we wanted to recognize and thank you, you for yours. So we made this site. We can't begin to fit every drawing, every meme, every kind word, but nevertheless, this website is written for every last person who supported our passion project. It's a love letter to sincerity from the bottoms of our hearts. Now more than ever, it's critical that you bring your integrity to everything you do. Continue to appreciate the sincerity in others and make your voice heard in its most earnest form. We're absolutely sure that you will. Oh. You make us smile. Oh. You made us smile. One more thing. We would love to see what you had to say about the characters of the habitat. Are you comfortable sharing with us the email you sent? It may be anonymously posted. Sh sharing is okay. Thank you. This site has been written and created by Gabe Lane and Hugo Limbo. The arrangement of platitudes was written by Lucas Saar, the vocals of by Ezia. You can download it here. Oh. That's awesome. Oh, we have to look at this design. Yeah, the F. Whoa. I'm not going to go through all this because... I feel like this is something everyone else needs to go through. I feel like it's not my life to create and show the world this. I feel like everyone needs to go see this. Everyone does. No matter who you are. No matter what you do. This was a pinnacle of gaming. Because... If you're asking me why, oh, that's music. And everyone loves it. Everyone. You've seen, they said a year and this community grew. That's what people can do when they have enough will and they show out their voice. So to all my fans, whoever watch or whoever's new watching this, please keep speaking out. Talk about what's bothering you. Make sure people understand why you feel this way. And so I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like more of my smile for me, go rewatch the playlist or go watch that other playlist that the other person, uh, oh my God, I forgot her name. Square cube, snap cube, snap cube, snap cube did. Have a great night, everyone. And this is the end for smile for me for now. Bye.